Free College Football Picks Week 12, Part 3. Tony T here with our College Football Pick Show here for Wednesday's action. Well, we're going to get give you 11 picks here. Uh, we're now into Part 3 of Week 12. We've got all 63 done. We're going to do it here in six parts, so 11 here. we got the uh, games here for Wednesday, the rest of the week for Saturday's action. Before we get started, just a couple things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free College Football Picks are updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. We also have NFL, NBA, college basketball, NHL, European football, and more. It is a good time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, give us that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com, our multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in our industry. Click the link to the hot cappers. Get signed up to some of our long-term passes. You see guys like uh, Ramon Scott, who's been hot. Brandon's been hot up there on top of the leaderboards. Nick as well. Collins. You know, click the links to get signed up to some of our long-term passes. Uh, you'll find our featured premium picks here right in the center of the page best bets as well each cover can release one best bet per sport per day many of them have up there on the site our $15 premium pick is a promotional pick the capper will take one of their premium plays and make it $15 to, to introduce their service to new and existing customers and of course our three packs which are fantastic values you'll also find on our pick ticker you can purchase picks a la carte so many a la carte items here on our site as well let you know about our promo code you can save 20% off all premium pick packages when you use that promo code TONYT at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link in the description in the All Cappers tab and get signed up. Always love to hear from you guys, so post your picks in the comments below. We are looking for cappers. You can apply over at Tony's Picks and our podcast. Every pick in podcast form, Tony's Picks the podcast, available on all major platforms. Just search Tony's Picks. You'll find us there. All right, let's get it started. Eastern Michigan and Kent College football pick. This one here on Wednesday. Eastern Michigan uh, moved to 6-4 and four with their 34-28 road win at Akron. Eagles gained uh, 345 yards with 155 rushing on 37 carries. On defense, uh, they surrendered 4.5 yards per rush to the Zips with 223 passing on 34 attempts. Austin Smith completed 57% of his passes, 6.8 yards per attempt. On the year, uh, Smith a 57% completion rate, 6.6 .6 yards per attempt. Now, Kent, they're now 4-6, and six, a 40-6 road win at Bowling Green. Golden Flashes posted 415 yards with 201 rushing on 41 carries. Defensively, the Golden Flashes held the Falcons to under 2 yards per rush with 246 passing on 42 attempts. Colin Schley completed 57% of his passes, 7.1 yards per attempt. He passed for 214 yards, 3 touchdowns, and an interception. Season-wide, Schley a 59% completion rate, 7.8 yards per attempt. Golden Flashes must win out to become eligible. But you know what? 7 wins will lock in. Eastern Michigan with a bowl berth as a six-win MAC team. They often get snubbed. Kent has failed to cover six of seven. They failed to cover all four home games on the season. Kent at home giving up 288 yards passing with 7.7 .7 yards per attempt. Don't be fooled by these six-win MAC teams, Sun Belt teams, Mountain West teams. They got to get the seven to get that bowl berth, or they could be snubbed. The player will be Eastern Michigan plus seven and a half. Miami, Ohio versus Northern Illinois college football pick. This one goes off here on Wednesday. Miami, Ohio is 4-6 and six after their 31-27 home defeat to Ohio. Red Hawks gained 313 yards with 69 rushing on 21 carries. Defensively, they allowed over 4.5 yards per rush uh, uh, in this one uh, to the uh, Bobcats with 362 passing. Brett Gabbard completed 77% of his passes, 9.4 yards per attempt. He threw for 244 yards and three touchdowns. Gabbard on the season, 64% completion rate, 7.1 yards per attempt. NIU 3-7 after their 24-21 road win at Western Michigan. NIU gained 363 yards with 220 rushing on 45 attempts. On defense, they limited Western Michigan here to uh, over 3 yards per rush with 185 passing on 30 attempts. Nevin Chris Moskali completed 47% of his passes with 7.8 yards per attempt. He passed for 133 yards, a touchdown, and 3 interceptions. Kromoskali on the season, a 42% completion rate with 5.8 yards per attempt. Gabbert back in great form since returning from injury. Huge quarterback advantage for the Red Hawks. The play here will be Miami, Ohio, plus one and a half. Western Michigan and Central Michigan college football pick. This one here goes off on Wednesday. Western Michigan fell to 3-7 and seven with their 24-21 home defeat to Northern Illinois. Broncos gained 316 yards with 131 rushing on 39 carries. 
Defensively, they surrendered over 4.5 yards per rush with 133 passing on 18 attempts. Trayson Borgay completed 50% of his passes, 6.2 yards per attempt. On the year, Borgay a 52% completion rate with 5.5 yards per attempt. Central Michigan improved to 4-6 with their 31-27 home win to Buffalo. Chippewas posted 420 yards with 303 rushing on 36 carries. Defensively, they allowed over 4.5 yards per rush to the Bulls with 191 passing on 32 attempts. Daniel Richardson completed 50% of his passes in the win, 6.8 yards per attempt. He passed for only 95 yards. Now this season, Richardson a 56% completion rate with 6.2 yards per attempt. He has thrown for over 15 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. CMU must win out to become bowl eligible. Western Michigan is struggling offensively, losing 4 or 5. Chippewas passed the three games, averaging 292 yards with 5.5 yards per rush, 7.1 yards per pass attempt. The play here will be Central Michigan here at minus 10.5. Georgia versus Kentucky college football pick. This one is on Saturday. Georgia moves to 10-0 with their 45-19 road win at Mississippi State. Bulldogs produced 468 yards, 179 rushing on 33 carries. Defensively, Georgia held the Bulldogs to three yards per rush with 261 passing on 52 attempts. Stetson Bennett completed 68% of his passes, 7.8 yards per attempt. On the year, Bennett a 68% completion rate. And also, eight, actually, better here, 8.8 yards per attempt. You know, uh, Kentucky, they're down to 6-4 and four here after a 24-21 home defeat to Vanderbilt. Wildcats posted 322 yards with 213 rushing on 31 carries. On defense, they gave up nearly 6 yards a carry to the Commodores with 184 passing on 23 attempts. Will Levis, is a season-low 47.8% completions, 4.7 yards per attempt. Past three games, Kentucky averaging only 260 yards. 3.7 yards per its rush, 5.5 yards per pass attempt. In this period, the Bulldogs averaging 470 yards, 5 yards per rush, and 8.6 yards per attempt. The play here will be Georgia minus the 22 and a half. NC State versus Louisville college football pick. This one here on Saturday. NC State improved to 7-3 with their 21-20 home defeat to Boston College. Wolfpack gained 335 yards with 200 rushing on 44 carries. Third string here, M.J. Morris completed 50% of his passes, 5.6 yards per attempt. On the air, Morris, a 60% completion rate, 7.7 yards per attempt. He has seven touchdowns, one interception. Louisville fell to 6-4 after a 31-16 road defeat at Clemson. Cardinals gained 400 yards, 150 rushing on 30 carries. Defensively, they surrendered over five yards a carry to the Tigers with 191 passing on 28 attempts. You know, Malik Cunningham, day-to-day, -day, uh, got here that, that shoulder injury, so... He's a question mark. On the season, Cunningham, a 63% completion rate, 7.3 yards per attempt. Brock Doman, on the year, 52% completion rate, 7.6 yards per attempt. You know Morris, an upgrade here, quarterback for the Wolfpack. Quarterback situation, a major concern for the Cardinals. NC State defense, past three games, allowing less than a yard per carry on the ground. The play here will be NC State plus four. Yo, Monroe and Troy, college football pick. This one here is on Saturday. Human row 4-6 with their 31-28 row win at Georgia State. Warhawks put up 300 yards, 75 rushing on 28 carries. Defensively, UL Monroe allowed over 3.5 yards per rush with 349 passing on 41 attempts. Chandler Rogers completed a season low 52%, 7.8 yards per attempt. He passed for 225 yards and an interception. This season, Rogers a 69% completion rate with 8.1 yards per attempt. Troy 8-2 after their 10-9 home win to Army. Trojans uh, gained here 264 yards, a season low, with 72 rushing on 22 carries. Defensively, the Trojans limited the Black Knights' passing game and allowed 275 rushing yards on 62 carries. Gunnar Watson completed a season low 48%, 6.2 yards here per attempt. On the air, Watson a 61% completion rate, 8.2 yards per attempt. He's thrown for nine touchdowns and, inter and uh, nine interceptions. Human road defense on the road has struggled giving up 480 yards, 4.9 yards per attempt, and 9.7 yards per pass attempt. At home, Troy is passing for 302 yards, 9.9 yards per pass attempt. Warhawks putting up 22 points per game on the road. The play here will be UL Monroe and Troy over 48. Akron versus Buffalo. College football pick. This one here is on Saturday. Akron fell to 1-9 with their 34-28 home defeat to Eastern Michigan. Zips gained at 386 yards with 163 rushing on 35 carries. 
Defensively, Akron allowed to under three yards per rush, 190 passing on 28 attempts. DJ Irons left the game due to an injury on the air. Irons, a 67% completion rate, 6.9 yards per attempt. Jeff, Jeff Undercuffler is the backup in relief last week. Undercuffler, 8 of 13 for 133 yards and two interceptions. Buffalo, they're 5-5 five five with their 31-27 road defeat at uh, Central Michigan. Bulls gained 431 yards, 240 rushing on 57 carries. Defensively, they limited the Chippewas passing game, but allowed 303 rushing yards on 36 carries. Cole Snyder completed 59% of his passes, 6 yards per attempt. This season, Snyder a 59% completion rate, 6.7 yards per attempt. You know, it's always tough for MAC teams to win in Buffalo. Now, no, no MAC action for Buffalo. They don't play uh, this. Uh, they're not playing here the next two weeks on in midweek. Too cold. Too cold to play those night games <laughs> in Buffalo. So we're going to see Saturday game, afternoon games this week and next week for Buffalo at home. And they need to win one of those to become bowl eligible. They can win two of those to get to seven wins. Even better, you get, you're going to pretty much get locked in for a bowl game. Remember, those six win teams usually lot, sometimes get snubbed. Uh, Bulls have covered five straight at home to the Zips on the road. Akron a- allowing 500 yards, 5.2 yards uh, per rush, 10.7 yards per pass step. Akron quarterback situation, a, a, a situ- a, definitely an issue because uh, DJ Irons is probably their best offensive player. The player will be Buffalo minus 14 and a half. Texas versus Kansas. College football pick here for Saturday, Texas fell to 6-4 with their 17-10 home defeat to TCU. Longhorns gained 199 yards, 28 rushing on 22 carries. Defensively, Texas allowed over 3.5 yards per rush to the Horned Frogs with 124 passing on 29 attempts. Quinn Ewers, uh, in this one, completed season lows here. 43% passing, 4.4 yards per attempt. On the year, Ewers, 55% completion rate, 7.1 yards per attempt. That's still very low for a, for a, big, for a big 12 High profile team to have that low percentage against the against Big Ten, the big Big 12 defenses. Kansas, they're six and four with their 43 28 road defeat here at Texas Tech. Jayhawks posted 525 yards, 242 rushing on 32 carries. Defensively, they allowed over five yards per rush with 246 passing yards on 34 attempts. Jalen Daniels ex- expected a play. Daniels on the season completing 67% of his passes, 9.2 yards per attempt. He's passed for 11 touchdowns and an interception. Jayhawks have covered all six games under Daniels. On the road, the Longhorns have given up 494 yards, 351 passing for seven yards per attempt. Jayhawks are moving the football for 467 yards at home. The play will be Kansas at plus nine. Penn State versus Rutgers. College football pick Saturday. Penn State improved to 8-2 with their 30-0 home win to Maryland. The Lions gained 413 yards with 249 rushing on 43 carries. Defensively, they limited the Terrapins to under 2 yards a carry with 74 passing on 23 attempts. Sean Clifford, a season-low 52% completion rate, 6 yards per attempt. He threw for 139 yards and a touchdown on the year. Clifford, a 62% completion rate, 7.8 yards per attempt. Rutgers fell to 4-6 with their 27-21 road defeat at Michigan State. Scarlet Knights gained 460 yards with 224 rushing on 44 carries. Defensively, they allowed 5.5 yards per rush with 256 passing on 35 attempts. Gavin Wimsap completed season highs 59% with a 6.9 yards per attempt. He threw for 236 yards and two touchdowns on the year. Wimsap a 48% completion rate with 5.7 yards per attempt. Penn State playing for a New Year's Day Bowl past three games. Rutgers defense giving up 420 yards. 5.2 yards per rush, 6.4 yards per pass attempt. The Alliance in this period, the defense is holding teams at 261 yards, and the offense putting up 460 yards. Player will be Penn State minus 19. South Alabama versus Southern Miss. College football pick Saturday. South Alabama improved to 8-2 after a 38-21 home win to Texas State. Jaguars gained at 380 yards. 106 rushing on 39 carries. On defense, South Alabama held the Bobcats to over 3 yards per rush. With 143 passing on 42 attempts, Carter Bradley completed 59% of his passes for 8.1 yards per attempt. He threw for 274 yards and 4 touchdowns. This season, Bradley a 64% completion rate, 7.9 yards per attempt. Southern Miss is 5-5 after their 26-23 road defeat at Coastal Carolina. Golden Eagles posted 365 yards with 52 rushing on 28 carries. Defensively, Southern Miss allowed over four yards per carry with 191 passing on 15 attempts. 
Third string, Trey Lowe completed 53% of his passes, 8.2 yards per attempt. He did pass for 295 yards and a touchdown on the season low, a 51% completion rate with 8.6 yards per attempt. Past three games, Jaguars defense holding teams to 251 yards. You know, inaccurate quarterback play by the Golden Eagles is a concern. The play here will be South Alabama minus 7.5. Coastal Carolina versus Virginia College football pick Saturday. Coastal Carolina moved to 9-1 with their 26-23 home win to Southern Miss. Chanticleers gained 361 yards, 170 rushing on 42 carries. Defensively, Coastal Carolina held the Golden Eagles to under 2 yards per rush in this one with 313 passing on 38 attempts. Third string, Jared Guest completed 50% of his passes for 11.6 yards per attempt. He threw for 163 yards and 2 interceptions. On the season, guest a 45% completion rate, three interceptions, 10.2 yards per attempt. Virginia fell 3 and 7 after a 37 to 7 home defeat to Pittsburgh. Cavs gained 144 yards, minus eight rushing on 24 carries. On defense, they allowed under four yards per carry with 208 passing on 24 attempts. Bennett Armstrong completed 51% of his passes, 4.6 yards per attempt. He has passed for 152 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions in the game. Those interceptions went for Pittsburgh touchdowns. Cavaliers have covered three of four. They were competitive, though, in recent home games against North Carolina and Miami. Chanticleers have failed to cover six of seven against losing teams. And that's on the road. Coastal Carolina allowing 277 passing yards for 8.9 yards per attempt. The play here will be on Virginia, minus two. That was our college football pick show here. Uh, week number 12, part three. So make sure to like, subscribe, set notifications. We'll complete. We'll uh, get this done, and we'll get all six three games done in th in three more parts. So more coming for you a little later. Uh, well, next three days we'll have uh, uh, ten games each. So we got uh, thirty three games in. So the first uh, three parts had eleven. The final three parts will have ten. Check out TonySpicks.com. Check out our best bets. Visit the site. More picks come up later. We'll talk soon.